Welcome to Signing Day Coverage, presented by West 10 Media, where we showcase some of the best student athletes securing their college future. Remember to like, subscribe, and if you hadn't already, hit that notification bell. Enjoy the video. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for coming. Um, <laughs> I am so proud to to be Sarah Allen's coach and to have been with her for the last three years. Uh, we we got off on a little bit of a rough uh, rough start, me and her and Brandy, <laughs> and um, <laughs> but we, we made it made it through, made it. Uh, past all the rough spots and I think came out much stronger um, because of it. I think that um, Sarah Allen is the most competitive person I think I've ever coached in all my years of coaching. Um, she wants to win and nothing less than that is gonna be okay. And I think that that's a good thing. It can be a little much, <laughs> but we, we love your competitive spirit. Um, we are so proud of you. You were, she was such a leader for us on our team this past season, uh, and really all seasons. Even if she wasn't a captain, she was still always a leader. That's just in her nature and who she is. Um, so we're so excited for you to be playing at the next level, and I really hope that I get to come watch you play, but if not, thank goodness for technology now, <laughs> being such a big part. Um, but yeah, good luck in your future endeavors. <laughs> I just want to say how thankful I am for the people in this room. Because, but especially my mom and my dad. They have always pushed me to do my best to be the best player I could be when I stepped out on the court. Thank y'all so much for being my biggest fans and sacrificing so much for my dream. My grandparents. I know this year was different because of COVID and y'all couldn't make it to games, but there was never a doubt in my mind that y'all were watching anyway. I just want to say that I'm so thankful for everything y'all do for me and how much y'all believe in me and support me. My teammates, thank y'all for pushing me and making me a better person every practice. I have learned so much from y'all, and I'm so thankful that I've gotten to play with y'all. Play with such great players, not just in school ball, but football too. My friends, thank you for always being at every game, cheering me on, and supporting me no matter what. Lastly, I'd like to thank my coaches that my coaches that I've had over the years. Y'all have taught me so much and shaped me into the player I am today. Uh, it's Thomas Sellers Jr. here with another signing day. I'll call you the test because your initials are SAT. They call you SAT. You got a lot of new names around here. Softball, basketball, volleyball. You wear many hats, but now today you stand here as a volleyball signing to get a woman. How does it feel? It feels pretty good. This has always been my dream to go um, play in college, and in Wobble is the place for me. And I'm so glad I get to go somewhere where I want to be. Now, Mama told me a great arena, great facility, team oriented. And you got an old teammate down there, Mary. So talk about, did those play into your decision to go down? Yes, the coach really played into my decision because she's just like my favorite person ever. Like I love her, she is awesome. And then um, Mary Leslie was a big part because I just felt like being, like Itawam was just home, like with, especially with her there and like us being the duo and all. And so um, I just was really excited the fact that I would get to go play with her for one year. Yeah, uh, she, she'd be familiar with your feather. Yes. <laughs> and now your career here at TRA, very distinguished, you had a lot of success. But you follow in the footsteps of your big sister, Jordan, who won a state championship, all those good things. And she was into volleyball, and your mom told me you started off as her test guy. Yes. At, at home. Talk about those days where your sister basically was aiming the ball at you. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> she would be like, come out in the yard with me and let me practice hitting or something. <laughs> and so I would go out there, and she would literally just hit the ball at me over and over again until, like, I got it up, basically. And so um, she just kept pushing me to be better and stuff. And I think that's where I started to fall in love with the sport. The fact that I felt accomplished after doing something like that. Well, I guess that's why when St. George's hit the ball that you weren't scared, <laughs> uh, well, all those teams, because you, you, your big sister got you great. Yes, she did. But I think another thing that got you ready watching your career, you stuck with basketball, and you got better. You improved, especially with coaches, uh, Cedric Anderson. You're going to run, you're going to play defense, and you're going to shoot when you're open. And you did all those things. Talk about how doing the other sports made you a better person and athlete. Okay, well, Coach said is a really big, had a really big impact on my life. Um, he, I really wasn't a basketball person. Like my mom always loved basketball, so I always played for her. She, she played it in damn missing. <laughs> yes. And so I playing basketball kind of just kept me in shape, and then it just the leadership on and off the basketball court was like so strong that I just loved being able to be a leader for something else, even if it wasn't my strongest thing. So I think it kind of helped me realize that like 
in volleyball when somebody wants to be a leader that might not be like so advanced in volleyball and that's how I feel in basketball. So I feel like those people are still as strong as a leader, somebody that is a star in one sport that isn't a star in another. So it's the little humility. Yes. Well, are you the baby of the family? Uh, no, I have a little brother, Tanner. Okay, but you're a baby brother. Yes. So I want to point out the three people that you know came before you. Big sister, how did she help you get here today? She helped me by um, just making me stronger mentally because <laughs> she's a tough person. <laughs> but also, um, my parents were uh, had a really big impact to me. They make so many sacrifices for me. But um, my sister probably was one of the biggest impacts I had because she just always pushed me. And she never let me do that. Good role model. Okay. Yes. Now, since Dad's the choir, let's talk. What, how did Dad help you here? My dad. My dad's a um, chemical salesman. He always is working, and I look at him like a, one of my biggest role models because he always is trying to do something to help benefit us. And I feel like that is probably the biggest thing that he's done to impact my life. And he always he might be quiet, but he always is cheering me on and stuff like that. Yeah, but now he in with the mouthpiece of the film, the lady that always got the camera <laughs> put on both ends at every game. Pretty much look like her sister, your mom, Miss Brandy. How is she helping you? She, um, she's always at every game. She never misses a game. She, for club volleyball, she was every weekend. She was at the tournament with me. She never missed anything. And I feel like that's one thing I look forward to when I'm older. And she helped me by just, like, again, like pushing me to be my best and never let me get up. And always telling me to be the best and try to succeed to be the best every single time I see on the floor. And she liked to think she gave some good athletic yeah. genius too. <laughs> well, yeah. that's, to be, that's to be determined later. But we do appreciate you taking time to reflect on your journey here in TRA, time with your family, and being the test that all the competition could not pass over these past four years. Well, congratulations, Sarah. Thank you. Bye.